So hello and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're looking at uh, silver. So basically, I like to collect silver. However, people like to collect silver, but we're looking at the various products here. So what we have, we have our silver rounds. Uh, this one here is copper nickel, so it's not silver. It does come in. I think it does come in a silver coin, uh, but you're not going to buy it for nine bucks. Okay, then you got uh, these bullion. You need to be careful that these are not fake, as well as these ones as well. So buy from a reputable company like Melbourne Gold Company. Seems to be okay. Uh, here's the coin company. So this is what I would purchase. I would purchase this uh, low-grade silver coins. So this is 50% silver, and roughly it's about a uh, dollar per gram. So you got one kilogram, yeah, 625. Yeah, that seems to be an okay bit of markup, but they do have to make it a profit. But it's not as much as you're buying these silver one ounce coins. So the actual value of silver is about. So if we have a look at silver silver production okay the value of silver so this is in us dollars so if we reduce take away the inflation adjusted okay we got 1915 we've got 51 cents then we have the two peaks so 36 dollars in 1980 then we have come on it's a bit hard. Okay, $48 in 2011. Currently, the price is about $23, $24 US. So that's about 35 Australian dollars. So that's what you would, 35, 40, something like that. Uh, so I would not buy when you have this peak, but obviously you don't know it's a peak. And what well, what as it's going up, you get, you get excited and you buy it. But you don't know it's going to be a peak. Usually, if there's a run-up like this, uh, it, it is a peak. As you can see, you've got different peaks that goes down. Uh, but these ones did recover. So if we put the inflation in just, that's what I like to, because, you know, you've got fiat currency. Uh, so eh, the 2015 is 51 cents, but that equates to $15.50. Okay, then you've got the peak. That equates to... $139, so you're buying it for $36, and that had a value of $139. So obviously, you're not going to get your money back if you purchased it in 1980. That's what, 43 years ago, so really, don't worry about getting your money back. Just get whatever you can. Okay, also in 2011, that had a peak of... Oh, yeah, whatever. Okay, so yeah, see, it's a bit hard. Maybe if I reduce it to twenty years. Okay, okay, sixty-five dollars when you're buying it for forty-eight. So obviously, inflation adjusted. You lost your money there, and obviously, these are recessions. So go back to four years. So, and they have recessions. So here's the major depression. As you can see, during the actual depression, uh, the price went down. People couldn't afford it. Um, people were probably selling it just to make money, to buy food, whatever else, because unemployment was uh, high. So savings disappeared. Then they sold their silver so they can actually get money just to survive. And then afterwards, you know, when things started to look okay and pick up, people had extra money and they started buying silver. So and after that, the demand actually would have dropped off during the Second World War. Demand yeah, was, well, people were too busy. But after the war, demand surged, but then dropped off. So there's always a hype, you know, where people want it, and then they actually uh, don't want it. So, and here's where buying and selling was probably pretty much even. Then you have ever surges, ever surges. Then you've got a recession here, 1982. Obviously, before the recession, people tried to sell off because they knew something's coming. So, a lot of people have a feeling this is going to happen. 
and after that recession, it just crashed. So the silver price went down to seven bucks. Well, that wouldn't have been the best time to buy it, but obviously, 20 years later, oh well. So if we look at world silver production, you can see since the 1600s, it's increased from 6.9 million ounces to 7.22. And currently, yep. We have a production of one trillion ounces uh, per year. That's all over the world. And that's pretty stagnant since 2010. So obviously, um, the production is not going up. But if you look at world population, this is another interesting factor. You can see. Since 1960, it went from 3 billion to currently about 8 billion now. So that's 5 billion more people that some of them are actually going to be buying silver. So when you have an increase in a population, you get an increase in people wanting different products. And silver will be one of them. So, if, so since 1910, 7, so we've got another extra billion people in those 10 years. And obviously, silver production is not increasing so that means no increase in production but an increase in population so it's going to be more of a demand okay then we have uh silver production in the united states so this is not overall world just the united states and as you can see it varies and you can actually check this over for uh, lots of different countries okay silver production by comparison so you've got different so australia metric tons is quite should be quite a lot anyway so if you go to numistar and you've got a you got a coin and you want to know what its value is so you can click on any denomination so click on these florins Okay, it says 50% silver. Internet's a bit slow today. Gives you information about the coin, you know, silver quantity, the weight. So it's about 5.868 grams or something like that of silver. Gives you the mintage. So the mintage does factor into the price for some coins, not all coins. Obviously, you've got proof coins, which are pretty hard to get and are very expensive. Uh, don't worry about these values here because they could have been purchased like yesterday 20 years ago 40 years ago uh, this is just an average of all people who put prices in some of those prices are not reflective of current market value so if you want to buy a florin from this one the common dates are 62 63 for low grade you can probably get them for bullion value and bullion value is six dollars fifty so obviously 490 yeah they purchased that at a previous time when bullion value was a lot lower so that's what i'm talking about don't just don't disregard these values ebay prices yeah sort of but you also need to take them with grain of salt so we'll get some ebay sales you can see you can buy 1954 florins or eight dollars seventy yeah depending if they sold so this one 54 is going up uh, including postage it's going for about a bit over bullion value so 650 compared to 750 for that one but that, that that's got nine hours we'll just see how that goes another one yeah eight yeah 875 okay then if we look at bulk items so <clears throat> as you can see this one is 50 percent silver so this is about 80 cents per coin in silver value uh, so i've got 50 so it's about 40 dollars minimum so 40 dollars is a silver value uh, this seems to be struggling to get up to that value but you also got postage as well so they might get up to 50 dollars but we'll just have to see uh, at the end of the sale but there's also other bulk lots you can get. So forty dollars for twenty coins. It's two dollars per coin. A bit over bullion, actually double bullion, or two and a half times really. So really, that yeah, I probably wouldn't buy that. 
Uh, but other people might. If they wanted to get a date set of all these coins, you can probably get a lot of dates out of that one. So you can keep the good ones and then just resell the, the coins that you don't need. Okay. Um, then you got now other stuff. So this, what do I put in this one? So this is bulk lots. Obviously, you can get a lot of different coins. So these sell for about $15 each on average. So $60, yeah. Plus, that includes postage. So this is okay buy. You're roughly about 11 I think about $11 per coin in silver value. So that's actually quite nice. And then you got these ones. So unless I actually click on, so 460 and yeah, $315. If you click on the actual, uh, what are they selling? Okay, they are selling, yeah, a lot of non silver coins. Yeah. So that's the thing with um now this one is a gold plated I think copper coin. Uh, yeah, there's a silver. There's another silver. So it does have some silver, but it's just random. Anyway, so if you wanted to buy silver in bulk, uh, you really need to buy stuff like this. So that, that's what you'd be looking for. But yeah, this stuff here that was sold to a well a company ordered them and they went overseas so that's why that coin is so expensive that's been sold as a collector's item not a bullion silver which you know see you've got 104 footprints coins obviously okay so this one is about dollar fifty per coin so if we look at the actual coins themselves, uh, so you got nineteen ten, which in that grade definitely sell for more than dollar fifty. Uh, so this one is a lot that you'd look for, uh, pretty good coins like that nineteen thirty four, and uh, keep it in your collection. I'll probably even send some, the good ones for grading if it's really worth it. So over a hundred dollars for me. So obviously. A lot of good coins, and for yeah, two hundred dollars. That that's actually a pretty good value. And then we have you no know, florins. So here I put on lowest. And as you can see, a lot of these are starting at one dollar. So these ones, you got fifteen plus that uh, one. Plus twelve dollars, so about twenty-seven. That should go for minimum. Uh, but at the moment, the market for silver coins is actually struggling. So I'm not too sure if these would actually sell quite well. So the best place if you wanted to get them for the lowest price is probably eBay. Check for the lowest value or bulk lots, and then uh, you can purchase them. It's not an investment video. This is just the way. I like to do things uh, so yeah so we've got various factors and the last thing that we have is the demand and as you can see in 2021 22 has been a huge demand in silver when people were locked down people with extra money given to them by the government so they purchased stuff a lot of it was online purchases because you couldn't actually buy in shops really so obviously there's been a deficit of 50 percent and about 70% silver um, in the previous years beforehand there was a, a surplus so more silver than what people wanted so that is and as you can see when there's a surplus the silver price goes down okay here we have the ounces and when there is a, a deficit silver price goes up here is an anomaly for 2020 uh, and the silver price so this is in the previous hype period so but in 2023 obviously in 22 interest rates went up so a lot less people have been able to actually purchase products so that i reckon that in 2023 is probably going to be a probably a smaller surplus uh, i can see on ebay now how uh, there's just not as much uh, competitiveness in the actual silver uh, products 
because you know uh, this has yeah nine days let's see how much they sold for yeah 40 bucks yeah yeah recently see this one no nah, 50 percent silver sold 60 bucks really that is nine so 55 it, yeah it's pretty much bullion fees so there's no competitiveness in this market and these older ones are lower condition uh, but also a lot harder to get in higher grades so people are just getting them get fillers and as you can see 50 percent silver people buying them uh, for buy it now price uh, yeah so as you can see the bidding is just no one really bidding on the actual coins so this is a bulk lot 1.8 kilos 50 percent so it's that went for under William V pretty much and so obviously the more expensive the actual lot is the less likely you're going to get multiple uh, people bidding on it so people with uh, short pockets uh, and as you can see all these biddings have only have one bid so this one 44m choice yeah still pretty low price for that so anyway that is what i think is going on in the silver market now in the future well if we do have a recession i think silver price and silver demand is definitely going to go down because you know people are unemployed more people unemployed means there's less money less money means you're going to buy less stuff and the stuff they're going to buy is just going to be essential so maybe you should save up your money until we have a recession then you can probably get some of these products for a cheaper price anyway thank you very much and have an awesome coin and bank collecting time take care out there